there and welcome. This is a video presentation tutorial of QElectroTech, a schematic design editor. The versions I'm using is the QElectroTech 04 on a Linux Debian GNOME 3 computer and the QElectroTech 05 on this Windows Vista computer. When building machines like we do, the user will need a technical manual with schematics which are electrical, electronic, perhaps pneumatic, hydraulic. We also include graphs and diagrams to demonstrate workflow or fault detection or ladder diagrams for the PLC structure and so on. The idea to group all these schematics into one editor is unique and originates by the French designers of QElectroTech. What QElectroTech does not do, it does not make any calculations, it does not simulate the schematics, it's a plain and straightforward editor. Let's now take a look at the program. In QElectroTech there are three main areas. Over here is the work area where the schematics are drawn. Over here is the element area where the elements are kept. Elements are like switches, batteries, lamps etc which are kept in a huge library sorted in topics and subtopics to choose from. The third area is the title bar with the main menu bar hosting all useful icons to choose from. Icons of which most are very common to all programs you know. I've loaded some examples that come with QElectroTech to give a brief overview of what is possible. This is a schematic of, of an operational amplifier 741, a classic electronic schematic. This is an electric schematic with a three-phase motor, power relay and fuses, 24 volt perform, uh, transformer and auxiliary relays and lamp indicators. Here you see a one by a schematic of kitchen and bathroom installation. Here we have an example of a graphset diagram. Let's now close these schematics and open another one. Open. Loading it. In QElectroTech you can have single schematics or projects. A project can be for example this electricals of a grinder. This is the front page of the project. This is the content of the project where the individual schematics are listed. Once you start the page it's automatically in the content page. These are then the single schematics. If we scroll to the end you can have the bill of materials which is derived automatically in the form of a spreadsheet from the individual schematics. We close now this project and start to make our first very simple schematic. I start a new project and here we have the page which is preloaded for the schematic. In QElectroTech it is good practice to gather the elements you want to use in a particular schematic into one basket. Looking a bit closer to the element area, the programmers of QElectroTech have arranged some directories. 
there is the template directory over here in this directory you can choose from several prearranged forms in landscape or portrait there's nothing that stops you to make your own template we will talk about this later here is the QET collection of elements this library is huge by all means there are common elements as well as there are manufacture dependent elements for example you will find the symbols for Schneider and Omron and a lot of other manufacturers there's also nothing that will stop you to edit new elements for the element editor we will talk about this later over here is the user template directory here you store your self-made templates finally over here is the user collection of templates it is good practice in QElectroTech to make a directory for each schematic and drag out of the QET collection copies of these elements toward your, towards your user directory how to do this is easy and we will explain this in the next tutorial I will open now my user collection directory that I prepared by clicking on, on the small triangle over here you see the element of a battery two cells here you see the cross symbol which is used to connect a line with an already existing line the cross symbol is put on the existing line and you can make the connection this is the, the element of a Wheatstone bridge this is the jump element to jump over the line while connecting this is the element LED light emitting diode the element for light, a common light the element for a push button push button the element for a resistor for a two winding transformer and these both elements are lines coming from a schematic going to a schematic we now select the battery element with the left mouse click and drag it into the working area click left again and there's one copy of the of the battery element fixated on the, in the working area clicking once again gives another copy clicking left clicking once again gives another copy right clicking unselects the battery element the same we do for the light left clicking placing it left clicking once again right clicking to unselect the push button left clicking and keeping it left clicked left clicking once again unselecting the right mouse button ok now we have three elements a battery of 12 volts a lamp and a push button yeah. now we can zoom into the screen by scrolling the mouse wheel gently okay we see each element as when I point with the mouse to it a blue dot blue dot over here blue dot over here blue dot over here these are the connection points I go with the mouse over the connection point left click keep it left clicked and go to the other connection point of the battery which is now 
not uh, blue but green I unclick and a connection is made same thing again from blue to green oops from blue to green oops first of all each element has a text field double clicking on it you can amend it and write it plan. Push button. Also, text fields. This, these are the text fields for the uh, two element uh, batteries. This is the text field for a conductor or a wire. Yeah, we don't need them. Delete them. Delete. double clicking with the left mouse button that's it okay when I want to change the side of, of my schematic I left click on the lamp and I place it somewhere else on the push button place it somewhere else So click on the on the wire. With this you can place it left right. Bottom to top. Left right once again. Okay. So I now using the left mouse button. We now take the previous Fourier element, place it by left clicking, place it by left clicking, right clicking to unselect the next Fourier element, placing by left clicking, place it by left clicking, right clicking to unselect. You see the previous Fourier element has been connected automatically by Q Electrotech to the next folio element. We, make, we take the two winding transformer element, left click to place it, right click to unselect. We take the Wheatstone bridge, left click to place, right click to unselect. The transformer and the Wheatstone bridge are already connected. We take the LED element, place it by left clicking, right clicking, don't select. The LED is already connected to the Wheatstone bridge. We take the resistor, left click to place, right click to unselect. The push button. left clicking to place right click to unselect so Q Electrotech has almost completed our connections automatically but what we see we have here a false connection 
we point to it by left clicking and delete it yeah. then we make a cross over here and a cross over there and both are connected but this connection makes no sense okay and still we have to connect the resistor with the push button okay we can also drag the push button a bit further away okay double clicking the description push button it somewhere else okay two point two K delete enter clicking LED okay and now removing these text fields because we don't need them to clean up the schematic double clicking on the left button and deleting the already present text will make the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will give some attention to the element area. We will show how to choose elements from the QET directory and put them into the users collection directory. We will show how to configure elements to your needs by changing the standard elements. We will also show how to draw new elements in the element editor. When you have a particular question or suggestion, please send us an email.